second breaking news just into the newsroom. Davenport University has decided to shut down its letting the campus through the weekend because of a possible norovirus outbreak. Roughly 100 students are sick. 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker is live outside of the university tonight with more on this. Heather? Yeah, we just got the email from Davenport making the announcement that this campus in Caledonia Township will be closed from now until Monday. They will reopen on Monday. Now, this is going to affect anything that happens on campus. This is staff. This is students. This is also any athletics that are scheduled for this campus. However, it does not affect the other Davenport location. So any other location and online classes, everything will resume as scheduled. Now, this norovirus is also sometimes being called the winter vomiting bug and from that name you can tell it's something you don't want to catch. I heard it just uh, through rumors and my friends that live in the dorms were talking about it. They all thought it was from the food in the den or the cafe. The symptoms are similar to food poisoning. Apparently there are just over a hundred students that we know of uh, that are ill with vomiting and uh, diarrheal illness. And it doesn't take much of the virus for you to join them. It's highly transmittable. There is no vaccine, so you have to wash, especially before eating or preparing food. We always stress and, and uh, push for hand washing. That's the best thing you can do. If you don't, you may lose a few pounds the hard way. I'm just glad I don't have it and I'm sorry for the people that do. Now, if you do catch the bug, it usually lasts about 24 to 36 hours. The best advice from the Kent County, Kent County Health Department is to wash all surfaces with bleach and water, and you want to let that sit on there before you wipe it down to make sure that they've killed all the germs. Reporting live on Davenport's Caledonia Township campus, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8. Okay, certainly very contagious, that's for sure. Heather, thank you.